Well, hello there. This is Bob Decker, tarot card reader and certified clinical hypnotist. And here we are on Friday, a week before Thanksgiving Day. How about that? It's rolling right around. We're coming into the holidays really, really quick here. Uh, I've got my friend here, Nick. Hello. Pass the turkey and the mashed potatoes, please. <laughs> Come right up. <laughs> ah, yeah. Food fight. Nick's going to be sharing with us uh, some of the stuff that he does. He does some pretty cool stuff that we've got going on here at the Griffin's Loft. Let's just go ahead and bust right into this reading, okay? Awesome. Let's go ahead and take care of some business here. All right. Here we go. Now, this is the Tower card. It's the last card of the previous week's reading. Now, the Tower, I never see it as a disaster. Some people do. I see the Tower as breaking out of boundaries, breaking the frames, Busting down the walls, you know, it's kind of like breaking down the walls of your house. So you get to see the, you get to see the rising sun. Okay. Yeah, a change of a change of perspective, a change of uh, personality, a change of uh, the way you do things. To tear down old habits that no longer exactly. serve you, and to build up new ones that could. There you go. That's right. Breaking out of ruts, breaking that rut. Yes getting into new stuff now my dad's getting going to break out of the rut this year for thanksgiving instead of turkey he's going to have ham okay that's one way to look at it yes so that's actually a very good card because i like ham this is true you could also look at it this way if the pilgrims had given our forefathers a donkey instead of a turkey we'd all be having a piece of ass for thanksgiving i like that Okay. Bob one, Nick zero. <laughs> okay, next <laughs> is the Four of Swords. Now the Four of Swords is us kind of like getting our minds back together after breaking these ruts, okay? As we're preparing for that turkey or whatever. Getting our minds focused, getting our minds together and also at the same time taking a break. You know, the picture is not a death card. I mean, it kind of looks like it. This guy's laying on top of a, looks like a coffin with four swords behind him. But it's not a death card. It's a card of rest. And we deserve that rest. We deserve to have some fun. We deserve to get a breather after all that we've been going through. You and know, it it's has, time for that. Yeah. It has been a very busy year, Bob. I mean, for a lot of people. Um, you know, with, with everything going on, you know, the earthquakes, the uh, elections around the world. Um, just general whole perspective of things has changed a lot and this would actually be a good time to uh, do more meditation uh, to contemplate where you are where you've been and where you'd like to go in your in your next stage in life there you go well put friend yeah very 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 well put okay and this is Jupiter in Libra so it is a balancing energy in Jupiter's expansion so it's like we're kind of trying to balance out the energies that we so badly perturbed with our tower card mm -hmm. okay we're rebalancing them again and getting focused mentally on what we want to do so what's going to happen towards the end of this week besides having an excellent feast we're going to be manifesting stuff look at this the Empress Venus mm -hmm. Venus planet of prosperity abundance creativity okay a lot a lot of power in this card a lot of power in this planet and so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking that mental energy and we're going to be putting it out there and we're going to start manifesting stuff so we're going through a shifting phase right now but i think it's pretty promising i think it's going to really turn some things around for us so we got some good stuff to look forward to at the end of this week besides that turkey or whatever we're going to have a uh, we're going to have some fun so, and speaking of fun now, this guy here, he has fun. He's got something pretty exciting coming up tomorrow night. Tell us about it. Well, thank you, Bob. Uh, tomorrow night, Saturday, uh, from 7 to 10 p.m. at Griffin's Loft, I will be doing erotic readings at Tantric Treats, which is a very adult party. Um, it's n not for people under the age of 18, please. We like to keep it adult. Um, but everyone's welcome. It's free to come, and uh, there will be readings. Uh, Twenty dollars for fifteen minutes, or forty dollars for thirty minutes. 
Um, come and see the latest in adult novelties and stay for some excellent tea, wine, hors d'oeuvres, uh, and some kicking uh, readings. Great. Great. Fantastic. Well, we're going to look forward to that. Yeah. And you're also available for parties. You do parties. You I do, do parties. I do personal readings. Um, I do over the phone if you can't meet, meet in person. Um, just give me a call at 954-600-5614 or email me at eternius, E-T-E-R-N-I-U-S, at tarot2go.net. Excellent. All right. Well, listen, friend, thank you for joining me today. Thank you, Bob. Yeah. It was an excellent time. Yeah, we had an excellent time here. I'll save you a drumstick. Cool. Coolness. Except for a vegetarian. Oh, well, I'll find a use for the drumstick. I'll make sure it's a tofu drumstick then. Oh, okay. Excellent. Now you're talking right up my alley, friend. Thank you so much. No problem. All right. I love you all. Please check out my website and, you know, my contact info's on there. Call me and make an appointment sometime. All right. Many, many blessings, friends. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.